I've been waiting for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! Labo Week 2 has just wrapped up, and we've gotten a decent amount of clips and pictures when comparing it to the previous weeks for Yu-Gi-Oh! of Reigns when it comes to news. Granted, most of these clips are from the Anime Japan event, but well, at least we got to see it in high definition quality. Let's first talk about the positives that we've gotten from this, which is absolutely nothing. We've already known that Go Anazuko was not going to have a VR form. We've already seen the image of him in the Labo episode, but we've gotten this image months ago. The only plus I see from this week's Labo is the Code of Duelist advertisement that contains Firewall Dragon in it. Interestingly enough, Firewall Dragon turns red in the promo, and a YouTuber by the name of It's Brad is HD made a really nice analysis on what this red might mean. So, I shall link his video down below. Seeing Yusaku ride on the Dado and with his ugly hoverboard to a degree brings people to my mind after this tremendous amount of disappointment that has built up these past couple of weeks from the lack of content and news that we've gotten for Varanes. This very much diminishes the hype for me. The fact that we are two weeks away from May, which if some of you guys don't know, is the month that Varanes is going to air in. We have five possible dates, the 3rd, the 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st of May. My predictions is somewhere within the first two weeks, we do know Yu-Gi-Oh! Labo will be broadcasting for two more weeks, and if we're going to look at it logically, then Varane should air on the third. But the best advice I could tell you guys is to just wait until an official press release from NES or Labo. Getting back to the lack of content, this all starts from the beginning, which is Jump Festa. On that day, we only got one thing, and that was the design of Yusaku Fujiki, along with the mini bio. To basically give a condensed down version of this bio and what they stated, is that Yusaku is a person that doesn't like to stand out and it also goes on to state that Yusaku tries dueling for once but as the news started to come out this whole bio on Yusaku trying out dueling for once doesn't really make sense because he was able to take an AI chip from SOL technology but to be fair to the bio he might have hacked his way through it anyways we got posters images bios cards around four character designs one anime promo clip and two Varane's OCG set promo clips and I forgot to mention we also got a handful of concept arts but nothing really important and the thing is that with all this news coming out very late compared to how Arc 5 and Zexel were before airing in addition to Varane's being delayed for one month and we get the stupid show called Yu-Gi-Oh! Labo that seems to only have one reason why people are watching it and that's because of bald Kaiba. Now, now that was sarcasm, right? Even with the great godly Kaiba in his shiny bald head, Varane's is still a disappointment when it comes to news because we haven't gotten anything godly hype worthy in the longest time. It just seems to me that something behind the scenes is still getting worked on. Now it's safe to assume that they at least have one episode of Varane's done. I really don't know how long it takes to produce an episode of Yogo. From what I've heard is that the typical anime that runs on a weekly basis such as Yogo, One Piece, Dragon Ball Super, they usually take around 4-6 to six weeks and we do know that 6 months before Arc V was wrapping up they would have started with Varane's so minimum one episode of Varane's is done and possibly more. Now going from that, they really need to do more in my opinion to show a little clip besides that one of Yusaku riding on the Dadawin. Even though they did do a bad job thus far, I do see one big opening for them in terms of hyping us up and that is next week and here's why. V-Jump tends to leak on the 16th or 18th of every month and V-Jump tends to have all the important news slash information. So I would imagine they do something good for V-Jump and then Wednesday of next week which is the 19th of May is when Yu-Gi-Oh! Varane's Labo week 3 will air. Now with two more episodes left they're gonna have to do something hype worthy to cap off Labo. So week 3 I'm guessing will be a preview but once week 4 comes around I expect something grand. So this is my little rant on the way they have been promoting Varane's thus far. Let's now move on to what was shown in Labo week 2 which was the female duelist known as Aoi Zizen. and it's her VR form. In VR she goes by the name of Blue Angel and to be completely honest with you guys her form in VR looks complete shit. There is only one thing I like out of the whole form and that being her eye color. Besides that I'm really not fond of all these accessories that she is wearing like for example the heart in her hair along with the bows it just seems that they're trying to make her look like an accessory rather than a character. The outfit she is wearing is too over the top it very much looks like a wedding cake in addition to her wings I understand that she is supposed to be called the blue angel but why do her wings have to look so over the top 
They added in hearts, which I extremely dislike. In addition to that, her earrings are hearts as well. But the most irking thing about this design is the green thing on her face. It looks very much like a four-leaf clover. But to be completely honest with you guys, I just think her design is shit. Disagree with me all you want. And this is something I personally cannot see myself being able to watch for 145 to 150 episodes. I'm hoping she does stay in her normal form more than this mediocre VR form. One other thing I do want to say is that the blue angel in VR is a figure, an idol. And with this design, we can definitely tell she is an idol, but definitely not a good looking one. <laughs> the question that comes to mind is how are the people in VR? If they idolize the blue angel, which I see no reason to idolize except for looks, it's going to be interesting to see how the VR world and its people act like. So that's the video for today. Comment down below what your guys' opinions are, what your guys' thoughts are on the blue angel. Do you like it? Dislike it? Thank you very much for watching, guys, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content, and see you guys later.